Hi, I'm Brett Willoughby, CPA. Today we're going to demystify FAFSA. FAFSA is a form that colleges use to determine the financial aid package that they give students. Parents of college students are very interested in this and we're going to talk about the factors. The two primary factors are income and assets. The student needs to fill out a FAFSA worksheet, but generally speaking their income is under $4,000 and their income is not deemed or considered if it's below $4,000 for FAFSA purpose. What makes the biggest impact on FAFSA worksheet and the financial aid package is the parent's income and then secondarily their assets. The FAFSA worksheet starts with adjusted gross income from the tax return. The last number on page one of the 1040 is adjusted gross income. FAFSA does not include certain income items. For example, income earned while overseas as part of the foreign earned income exclusion is excluded from FAFSA. You can also exclude assets that are the primary residence and pension are excluded from FAFSA purposes. There are quote addbacks to that adjusted gross income, adjusted gross income number. One of the addbacks is clergy housing. Clergy housing is included for FAFSA purposes. Other items that are included for FAFSA purposes are tax-free interest income, not a big factor for parents of college students generally, but current year pension contributions are also included for FAFSA purposes. If your income is less than $30,000, you'll get the largest financial aid package, or your son will get the largest financial aid package available. The next kind of bracket is people with income between $30,000 and $50,000. As your income goes up, your financial aid package decreases. Our clients, when we prepare their 1040 tax return, we give them a FAFSA worksheet. That worksheet takes the numbers from the tax returns and gives them to the parent to help them uh, complete the FAFSA worksheet or form. We hope that this has demystified the FAFSA worksheet for you today. Thank you very much.